Solar Sports. Soriano again finding space, not going with power that time. And the protect from the blockers were there, but the support once again was not present. He came, but it was a tad late. I was about to say, Petron has to make their move right now because this is already a huge advantage para sa Cagayan. Two consecutive points, seven point advantage ready for the Suns. At pailing-iling na lang si Coach Villet. Wala na siya magawa. Hindi mo na alam kung sinong uhugutin mo eh. Lahat ng mga sets, basang-basa. That one is over. They go to the outside and that is Doug. Cotroang again. This is Cotroang. Pag bumuelo yan, watch this. Yan ang binabagit mo, Coach. Ibang klaseng kanyang depensa. Yes. It was the best rally of this match so far. Good thing Petron was able to extract that point. But definitely it was Kutro Wong who was playing the starring role in that last exchange. Defendently. Digging, attacking. But one thing nice about Petron, yung floor defense nila, ay matibay doon sa huling sequence. Let's see if they'll be able to sustain this floor, this toughness sa kanilang floor defense. Back set, Maizo! Bigat masyado talaga. Alam mo, sinasabi ng mga defensa nung defenders dito ko pa na ng Petron, how do we key on one individual wherein they keep going to different girls? You have to credit that to April Jose who has been able to maximize her uh, bullets, so to speak. Pao Soriano to eh. And this time around, Shinak will be able to get that point for Petron. Still a huge six-point advantage for Cagayan. But natin sinabing malaki. Kasi the way the game has been played, alam na alam mong kaya nilang uh, magbigay ng additional na firepower pa. That stays in. Back-to-back -back points put together here now by Petron. This is the rally that they've been looking for. If they are to make their move, they have to make their move right now before we get into the second technical timeout. Mahirap pag masyadong malaki ang kalamangan na hawak ng Cagayan. That's not gonna go over and puntos na naman para sa Cagayan Valley. Two consecutive points for Petron and then Cagayan wins the third point. Cagayan still on top by six. Ang hirap habulin dahil ang laki ng lamang eh. Soriano with the serve. And again, another poor reception by Petron. And a poor reception will result into it. That has been the storyline of this uh, infant. Lady Sons. Bang! Reminiscent of our UAAP years, Zervasho. A top-notch player from the U, Ateneo Lady Eagles, showing us why even na nag-aala siya ng uh, law, eh, condition pa rin siya. Ang ganda nga ng kanyang condition. But she cannot do it all by her lonesome. On the other side, four or five players have conspired dito para sa kapunan ng Cagayan Valley. And here's Patroang. Her basho was on the, at the right spot. But the power by uh, Kotroang is so massive. Pwede mong ihalin tulad ito kay Bag Bagyong Yolanda. Grabe pumalo. When she goes with power, I think siya na yung pinakamalakas dito. One of the few service mistakes you're gonna see from her. And one of the very few reactions we've seen from her all throughout this match. Tarun lang siya, no? bilang isang coach, yun yung mga klaseng player na gusto mo. Hinahanap mo. Totoo yan. Hindi makulit. Hindi makulit. 
That move once again seven point lead belongs to the rising suns. Too many problems. Once again, Petron under duress against the Cagayan Rising Suns. 